Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to get the character at given index. So you will be getting index from the user and with that respective index, we have to find the character into the given string. So basically you will be getting two things as a user input. First thing is as a string and second one is that index and our responsibility is to return the character from this index. So if you see this string called a p i p o t h i okay. So a available at 0th position, p available at 1st position i available at second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position. So accordingly, so fifth position t is available, right. So if user will pass 6, right, then 6 h will be available. So like that, we have to return the character with respect to the given index, okay. So we have our main program ready where we have already input ready. Okay. Now our responsibility is to create the API. Get car. Okay. So here we are going to pass two things. One is the string. Okay. And one is the index. Index is the number which will help you to find the character in this string. So accordingly we have to create the method. Once method got created, we have to secure the user input. Okay. So this is the string. User a string is the local variable for this one where I am assigning the str and user index. Okay, fine. And we have to print these things. So, user string just for our understanding. So, we are saving into the user string plus user index so we are saving into the user index variable name fine now let's run this program as a java application just to make sure that we receive the user input correctly if you see user string is api pothi and user index is 5. Keep some like that. So it will be more understandable. Okay. Now run as a Java application. User string is API poti and user index is 5. So which is correct. That's what we are passing through the main program. So we are good now. Now let's move to the question again. So we have to find the character with the given index, right? So for that we have to get one for loop. Now question is, this is the string and this is the index. How we got to know the character and index relationship? For that we need for loop, right? And for loop applicable only for array, something like that, right? And we don't have anything called array. So to make this array, we have a method called to char array, which will convert this string to the character array. Char array. Okay. So this will return this to char array will convert this string into the character array since this is returning since it is converting into the character array so we are 
creating one character array called char array where we are assigning the value now if we pass this one here so now for loop is able to iterate or scan this character array just for namesake we will print it how the value is coming so we know right this i will always tell you the index so something like that index plus so i is the index whereas char array of i is the value okay value now run as a java application so good so index 0 a is available at index 0 p is available at first position i second something like that like that okay now our responsibility is to get the index 5 so i have the user input called index 5 and with respect to value i need to get it which is t so we have to put one check saying that if i equal to equal to user index if i equal to equal to user index then print the value okay then we have to print it now run a java application now see index 5 value t now let's do little formation so this sop actually we are looking for okay so character character this one okay character this one at index this one and index is represented by i so let's run this program again so character t at index 5 which is expected right so if you see this is only our expected output so we have the user string called api poti user index is 5 and we need to get the character from the fifth position so for fifth position we have the character called t and which is here both are same okay let me summarize you again we got two things from user one is a string second is the index our responsibility is to return the character from this index given by this string okay so we got the string we got the index so to get the index of the character we have to convert this string into the character array and that we are doing with the help of to char array which is the method available into the string class this will help you to convert this string into the character since this got this string got converted into the character array so our responsibility is to save this data into the char array and with this char array i run one for loop just to scan this character array and we just kept one check that saying that if i means index is equal to user index then please get me the character so here i am printing the character with respect to this side okay that's all yeah thanks for watching this video